Good morning, church. Let's stand together as we worship him. We live in dark times, but our God is a great God, full of light, full of love. praise offering. He is an amazing God, lover of our souls. Please be seated. We're glad you're here. As we come to worship, it's always about Christ. That is what our faith is connected to. That is who we look at. In our Sunday school class an hour earlier, we were kind of looking at that subject that when we focus on Christ, 
it's less a focus on ourselves. And yes, we need to look at ourselves sometimes, but sometimes we look too much at ourselves, and we need to look at Jesus a whole lot more. And that's why we come, because we focus on him. So in our call to worship today, we're looking at the first quote deals with Christ, looking at him, what he is. And then it looks at ways in which we suffer. And maybe the second name, Terry Waite, you remember from maybe 15, 20 years ago, who was um, captured in one of the Middle Eastern countries and was there for like two or three years or more maybe um, as a prisoner. And he is talking about that experience in this quote this morning. So let's keep in mind, we focus on Jesus, but we also take what we're living and applying that. You may think you're wonderful until you stand in the presence of the one who is purity itself. It is the pure light of God that pierces a man. You can keep up your pretense of being holy until you stand, until you stand in that light. Then immediately, there's nowhere to hide. All your marks are torn away. All your hollow smiles fade. I've determined in captivity and still am determined to covet this experience and convert, it should be, to convert this experience into something that will be useful and good for other people. I think that's the way to approach suffering. It seems to me that Christianity doesn't in any way lessen suffering, but it does, what it does is enable you to take it, face it, work through it, and eventually convert it. Because what we do is we take our situations of suffering and we look at Jesus and what does he want to do with the, that. May that help you today. Let's stand together. Continue to worship our loving Savior and God. Strange, so what's did 
always there for us. He loves you with an everlasting love.
Lord, hear our prayers. Hear our praise, Lord. Come and visit, visit us, Lord. Allow your Holy Spirit just to flow through this place, Lord, this morning. Touch every heart from the inside out. Do your work in our lives, Lord. We know you're not done. You have a lot to do. But Lord, we yield ourselves to you. Do your work in us. Do your work through us, Lord.
As a church, we take this time to pray. So let's join together. God, we're individual people who have come this morning. Having lived our week different from the person around us. A lot of different circumstances, a lot of things that have happened, things that interact and weave together and sometimes fall apart. And there are moments when we recognize that you've been speaking and you're calling our personal name, trying to get our attention, trying to say, pay attention to me, I'm God and I'm, I'm here. God, we're grateful for that. Sometimes we just don't, we just don't know what we need. But you do. And you come to us so easily and so well. We're so grateful for that. God, when we look at the circumstances that might be around us, maybe we're discouraged. Maybe we just see ourselves. And we can't see beyond ourselves or beyond our little world or to other people or to you. And certainly we need to deal with ourselves, but God, life is not about us. And I thank you for allowing us to see you over and over again. You're alive, you're real, you're strong, you're powerful, you're loving, you're compassionate. You cut through the junk of our life. God, be the hope that we need. Shine your light upon us and in us and around us so that darkness leaves so that those moments of discouragement, we would see you and see the, the hope and the help that you offer because you just change everything. We can give testimony to that change in so many ways. Thank you that we can express that publicly or silently or with other people Allow us to do that, help us to do that, that we may encourage each other as men and women who are seeking to live this life and follow you. God, forgive us because, boy, we fail. And the moments of failure, we confess those to you just now. God, you've promised your forgiveness and we just invite that to come once more to our life and ask that you would just free us from that because you're the God who takes it from us and offers your forgiveness. So do that just now. God, we pray those here at the altar who have needs, we pray for us who are standing in your presence just silently communicating with you. Our needs are important and to us and we just lift them up and ask God that you would surround us with yourself. There is no one like our God. We give you thanks for that. We rejoice in who you are. We praise your name. Just fill us with your praise today. It just changes our outlook and thoughts and how we view the day. So be with us and be with those needs that are here and we ask that you would make yourself known in every situation. 
and those areas that we just can do nothing about on our own. Do for us what we can't do for ourselves. And we'll express our praise to you over and over again because you're so faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. church greater things have yet to come and greater things are still to be done in this city things are yet to come for each of us within each heart within each life within each family transformation greater things are yet to come for the church the Lord's church he is transforming us so that we would be without spot or blemish when he returns. He's empowering us to be who he made us to be. And he's calling out to each and every one of us to walk in the light. And if you stumble to the right or to the left, he will bring you back on the right path. Continue to trust in him. For he loves you dearly and he's pointing the way. He's all around you. He's behind you and before you and beside you. Listen for him because he's always there and trust in him. Jesus, we love you.